Hello, mommies at Expressors Pumping Moms PH, Smoking Queens, and all to all the breastfeeding and pumping mamas. Um, I will be sharing to you today the breast milk storage guide. Okay, so um, I have I made this guide a few years ago, but had no um time or uh, no chance to share it with you but i'm gonna go ahead and share it anyway um so that we can so that the bm storage guide questions but anyway we have this in the group we have the files uh, and we also have repeated questions about the storage guide every day um but i just think that this is uh, pretty helpful this is my um um, version of how to store the milk properly, how to make sure that the milk is um, good for babies. Okay, there are a few notes though before you consider these storage guides. Uh, these are uh, definitely guides, but what are what uh, is most um, important is your mommy instinct. And um, I said that because the guide is for full-term babies. If you have a preemie baby and or babies that have special condition, um, iba yung guide. The guide would be a little bit shorter. The milk that you would be able to prepare for baby that you stored in room temperature, uh, you should follow the shorter guide. Okay, so I'm also going to post the pictures later um, because it's not um, coming up on the uh, share screen, but I'm gonna be um, give I'm gonna be giving you a rundown of what for me is the um, correct um, BM storage guide. Okay, and this guide you can also watch this in YouTube or you can watch here over again if you feel like you're confused. I know a lot of moms are confused about this guide, and I'll go ahead and um, explain to you right now. Okay, so we'll start off with uh, the room temperature. As I mentioned, um, this depends. Um, this guide will be suitable for full term babies. Okay, for preemie babies or for babies that have special condition. The guide for storing the breast milk should be shorter. That's the rule of thumb. You, we go for the shorter um, interval since um, there are the guides have this short and the longest um, interval. So, say for instance, um, the uh, breast milk storage guide for um, keeping the breast milk in room temperature uh, is from in a covered sterile bottle or a sterile breast milk storage bag, okay, should be good for six to eight hours. And that's for the full term normal babies, okay? So if it's a preemie baby or babies that have special conditions, we might want to choose the the shorter um, the shorter span. We might want to choose the uh, up to six hours, and that's the max. I wouldn't really follow that. You know why? Because we are here in the Philippines. Philippine weather, um, because these guides are based in abroad. Okay, so their room temperature is. Um, lower than ours we have a humid and hot weather and our weather would range from like 27 up to 30 ish degrees which this guide isn't that perfect anymore when it comes to storing your milk outside of the room okay so um I would suggest that if you would be storing your milk in a non air non um, or in a room that's not air conditioned okay so please take note of this for the room that's not air conditioned you might just want to store that um, breast milk in a breast milk bag or in a sterile bottle for up to up to six hours if your baby is full term and up to four hours if your baby is preemie or has special conditions okay so uh, we'll adjust it a little bit if it's because um, if if the milk is um, exposed in a pretty warmer weather or is in a room temperature that's not that cold chances are um, it will spoil um, faster but I've tried that in my own breast milk and breast milk does not really really spoil quickly but for 
babies that have special conditions or are premies, you know, we can't risk on that and we have to follow the shorter uh, span. But for babies that are just, that are born full term, you can follow the six hours guide. If you will be putting your milk outside and your baby is full term, you can still offer it within the six hours after you have um, uh, thawed the milk or after you have expressed the milk. That's fine. I, I've tried that and you can also taste it just to be sure um, before offering it if you have second thoughts of giving it to your baby. Okay, so for full-term babies, um, the milk should could be uh, left in a room temperature for uh, six hours here in the Philippines. Okay, just to be sure. And then um, for... Um, and I know that there will be a few mommies that will ask, what if you thaw the milk and you uh, fed it to baby and then the baby was not able to consume the milk or hindi na ubus ni baby yung milk pero nalawayan niya na. And that milk is okay to, to be offered again as long as you offer it within the next two hours. Okay. So if your baby's full term, na dede niya yung milk, say you gave four owns and then the baby only consumed one owns, you can, again, give it for the next two hours and it's okay. All right. So um, for the milk that are inside the insulated cooler or may mga yellow sa loob, so say for instance, you will be traveling and you were putting, you, you're going to put your stored um, freshly pumped milk in a storage bag or a covered sterile bottle with ice and your cooler bag is full of ice or ice pack or um, ice, you know, any, any or maybe DIY ice pack, as long as it's very cold and it's full of ice, that will be good for 24 hours. Okay, so if, say for instance, nag brown out, um, nagkaroon ng um, power interruption, your milk that's full of ice that's inside a sterile bottle or sterile um, storage bag will be good for 24 hours. Okay. And if the those milk, say for instance, um, nag, n accidentally na to yung isa sa mga milk na yon na um, oh, we'll, we'll go to that later. Okay, so um, the next um, step or the next guide will be um, in a refrigerator, refrigerator, okay, um, with a covered bottle inside the ref. So, eto, um, when we say inside the refrigerator, um, it's in the coldest part of the refrigerator, okay, because sometimes there are refrigerator, I mean, refrigerators have different, um, levels diba so there's the lower the lower level and then there's the middle part um and there's a part close to the chiller yung mga old school ref if you have an inverted ref which yung freezer nasa ilalim and then the ref is um on top and the whole ref has a chiller and then there's a middle section and there's a second layer and there's a top layer. And most likely for new refs, especially the inverter refs and the new refs, it's pretty good. It's pretty, the temperature is pretty accurate. So you can put it anywhere there as long as it's inside the refrigerator itself and in that coldest part, not, um, not, sa ano close sa sa I mean not sa sa door but basically I have a modern ref and that ref kahit nasa door yung sa shelf sa door yung breast milk the temperature is basically the same but if you have a um an older ref you have to put it at the coldest part of your ref so it can stay there for three to five days again kapag preemie it should be three days Pag full-term baby, it's good up to five days. Or some actually do it for a week. But that a week is already, you know, parang it should be given for for um, babies that are over six months already. Or if you have already tried it. Kasi yung gra guide is basically, for me, the safest would be up to five days. If you will be putting that inside the ref in a sterile bottle. Okay, so we'll go next to the freezer compartment of a refrigerator with a single door. 
dito maraming umiiyak, maraming um, nagtataka, maraming nagtatanong. And I know a lot of you would be um, frowning about this, but this is the guide um, that would make the most out of milk, out of the breast milk. So if you're putting your, your um, breast milk, your freshly pumped breast milk, inside a freezer compartment of a single door, it's only good for two weeks. Yes, two weeks lang siya. So, baka may hihirit na baka pwede naman uh, mga three weeks or four weeks. Um, actually, di ba, parang sabi nila, wag na natin i-risk. Especially that breast milk is free. I know it's really hard to build up a stash, especially kung uh, enough for ka lang and or you're, you pump late and you're uh, parang naghahabol to to create or to make your stash and then sasabihin mo good for two weeks lang sa, re- sa freezer mo ng single door. Parang feeling mo unfair, di ba? Pero, yeah, that's the guide. Uh, you can keep it there for two weeks and then if you feel like hindi naman consume yung uh, milk na yon for the next two weeks, um, yung ika two weeks, you can transfer it if you have a family member or if you have um, someone that you can put your milk to uh, that has double door or mas maganda kong chest freezer, you can transfer it there so that you can prolong the um, your breast milk, yung, ano niya, yung, yung longevity niya, yung, yung uh, na pwede siya ibigay sa baby. Okay, so next sa ano na tayo, sa freezer compartment um, of refrigerator with separate doors. Ito yung sinasabi nilang two-door ref. Okay, so here um, we, we have two-door ref and then the first door would be full freezer and then the second door would be full ref, just the refrigerator itself. So for that, that has two doors, your um, your milk that is pumped in a sterile bottle or a sterile milk bag will be good for up to three to six months. Okay? So hanggang six months lang siya. Kung full term yung baby mo, pero kung free, premium baby mo hanggang three months, but most likely naka, nakapag established na naman ng good immune yun siguro pag mga premies and you're able to breastfeed them from the very onset up until their third months and so on you know um you can definitely um follow the three to six months rule or guide i mean for the breast milk storage if you place your breast milk in a two-door freezer okay so next um the last one chest freezer or upright deep freezer, okay? So when you say deep freezer, yun lang talaga yung ginagawa niya. It's just to freeze everything. You know, it could be uh, the upright freezer, yung not the usual um, chest freezer. It could be the upright, it could be the chest freezer. But if it, uh, what, if, what it does is just to freeze all the um, laman or whatever's in there, that, um, breast milk that you will be placing in there would be good for up to 6 to 12 months. Yes, it will be good for 12 months. So um, you can really use that or invest in the chest freezer if you are a full-time exclusive expressor or if you are a working mom um, that you pump in the office and then you direct latch your baby when you go home. Um, having a chest freezer would pretty much help you lengthen the the storage capacity of your breast milk. So, uh, kung gusto mo, kasi um, actually, there are a few stories of how you would be able to build a stash and be able to secure yourself, your mom's sanity, um, that you have a stash with you. But it's a pretty long um, conversation kasi may mga um, iba-iba kong tips for that. Say, for instance, you're a full-time mom uh, like me before that that does not uh, go to work in an office um, or if you're a full-time mom that only stays in the house or if you're a part-time pumper or ex- exclusive expressor, iba-iba yung need mo in having to choose whichever you know, whichever ref is suitable for you. But 
Um, I also like to highlight that before anything else, before trying to build stash, it is very important that you initially know how to um, latch your baby, um, how to parang build little by little before you go back to work. Okay, that's why I really highlight the pumping anytime you like, whenever you give birth. Because our maternity leave is only good for how many days? You know, three months, four months, five months, whatever that is. I'm not updated. But kung yung 120 days is already, is already applied, you know, it's pretty short. Especially if you are... Um, if you are just starting to build up your stash midway, you know, it's going to be difficult for you to to build um, a lot of stash. So, bago kayo ma-stress sa pagbibuild ng stash, dapat before kayo mag-breastfeed, alam nyo na initially kung anong klaseng pagpapump ang gagawin nyo. Kung kayo ba ay mag ng maraming stash, Sinasabi nila, do not feed the freezer, right? That's also one of the parang sinasabi nila, just so you won't be toxic and you won't be stressed in having to pump and pump and pump and feed your freezer. There are a lot of other ways that you can maintain your mom's sanity without having to be stressed with feeding your freezer. And some people, would, some moms would also like that they fed their freezer really nicely so that hindi sila kakabakaba pagbalik nila. You know, because you could never tell. You could always get milk um, for the moments that you were super stressed at work. You know, when you're super stressed, may mga instances talaga na parang umuurong yung milk mo. Yung sinasabi nilang biglang wala. Minsan may mga mommies na, Nag-work ngayon, kinabukasan, oh my gosh, super low supply. And that is because, uh, number one, moms get stressed of leaving their baby behind, right? There are other moms that even cry during the first day of getting back to work. And there are other moms that, like, goes home really early and extend their vacation. Kasi there, that um, week, you really, really are very anxious in leaving your baby behind. Se panks nga. Yung parang ganon. So, there are really a lot of ways that you can maintain your sanity or maintain your strategy in building up a stash without cramming. Okay, so you really have to plan on how you'd be able to build up your stash before going back to work. And that includes thinking if you would like to pump early or not okay so kung saan ka maniniwala maniniwala ka ba sa 6 weeks rule o maniniwala ka sa pag-iipon for your baby because you're going back to work in a few months so nasa sayo na lang yung kung anong classing um decision yung gagawin mo. But this group, um, we guide you from the very start so you have options. You know, options to know um, on what works well for working moms. Okay? And we teach you to avoid mastitis. We teach you to avoid clog ducts. We teach you to avoid every um, discomfort that you would feel so you can continue to express milk for your baby. So that's just what's very important about having this group. You know, you have the opportunity to choose whatever you like, but parang nagkaroon ka ng linaw sa mga bagay-bagay na naririnig mo from outside. Okay, so just keep on latching and pumping. If you have more questions, just comment. And I'd probably be posting these pictures here for your reference. Okay, so good night. Bye.